Hello everyone, welcome to Kids Zone. My name is Rachel and I'm going to be showing you how to make blueberry pancakes. So when we're in the kitchen and we're going to start cooking, what is the first thing that we need to do? We need to wash our hands. So I hope you've all got washed hands and you're ready to get started. So I'm going to show you what you will need to make these pancakes now. So I have written down the recipe. Now I always do this and it's really, really good to practice your handwriting and to actually practice following your recipe as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now the ingredients and then we'll go through the types of equipment you'll need as well. So the first ingredient for blueberry pancakes is blueberries. The next one is self-raising flour. Then we'll need some sugar. We will need an egg and we will also need some milk can be any type of milk, whatever you have at home. So there are five ingredients, and then we need a few pieces of equipment to use. So we need a good sized bowl, because we're gonna add all those ingredients in here. We need a wooden spoon, or if you don't have one, a whisk will do. And we also need a spatula. This one's for flipping our pancake. And we need a frying pan for cooking our pancake. So just a normal size is fine. And then you need something to measure out those ingredients. So today we'll be using a cup. This is a standard cup measurement. If you don't have one at home, you can actually use a glass. We've got plenty of glasses here, but today I'll use this measuring cup. And then you'll need a teaspoon, okay? So I've got a few spoons on this little one, but I've got my teaspoon here, which we're gonna use too. So let's follow the recipe and we'll begin. Okay, first step, I'm gonna read it. It says, combine sugar and flour in a bowl. So we need one cup of self-raising flour. Got my cup and my self-raising flour. One cup. And then we need two tablespoons of sugar. So I'm gonna measure out my sugar. Perfect. Now the next step says, gradually whisk in egg and milk to make a smooth batter. So this is where we get our second bowl. I've got a smaller bowl here and I'm going to crack in one egg in my ingredients. One egg. Takes lots of practice to crack an egg. And we're also going to whisk in one cup of milk. I'm going to measure that out now. One cup. And we're going to whisk those together. Grab my whisk or your wooden spoon, whatever you prefer. And we're going to whisk those in together and you can see it change colour. It's starting to go a bit yellow. Excellent. Now we're going to combine them. So should we put the flour into the smaller bowl? Or should we put the eggs and the milk into the bigger bowl? I think we'll put the eggs and the milk into the big bowl. You ready? You can see it all combined there. And we're going to whisk away. Get those arm muscles ready. Okay, we've finished whisking our mixture, so I'm going to put some butter in the pan to get it nice and hot. There we go. And that's going to start to sizzle. And then we're going to add our pancakes in. Okay. So we get our mixture and we get a spoon and we start to spoon our pancake mixture in. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Two scoops, I think. And then what do we do? We add our blueberries. So grab my blueberries one two three four four blueberries now our pancake is cooking you can see the blueberries you can also see some little speckles or some bubbles that are starting to appear on the top of the pancake that means it's nearly ready so when you see a few bubbles on the top get your spatula ready 
grab an adult at home and we're gonna flip. All right, our pancake is ready to be flipped. Can't see any new bubbles appearing. Let's get your spatula, get ready. Oh, we're gonna flip one, two, three. Now we're gonna flip the pancake over again, make sure it's cooked on the other side, and then we can eat it. You ready? Come and have a look. Ready, let's flip it. Looks pretty cooked to me. And our pancakes are ready. So we've got our pancake here, and I've chosen what I'm gonna put on top. I'm gonna to put some yogurt. Let's pop some yogurt on top. There we go. And we're also going to add some raspberries. Lots of berries are coming out in season now. So I've got raspberries today, but maybe you want to put more blueberries. And you are done. You can enjoy what you've cooked. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. I'll see you again soon and have a lovely day.